Peace, peace, family. So today I want to drop some knowledge up here talking about people pretending to be spiritually connected. Um, I know it's a big wave going on and I know I kind of touched base on it a little bit before in a previous episode, but I think it's important for us to understand who the enemy is, who the ops are, and who is actually on our side with us. You know, if it's a spiritual war going on, then there has to be teams. So if I know deep down in my heart and my spirit that I'm riding with the creator, I'll always live this way with righteous principle, morals, and values. You know, I, I don't say right or wrong. I just say righteous because I know I move with the creator. But then you have the other beings. So trying to get a better understanding of these fake woke beings or these beings that uses astrology you know it's a westernized astrology out here that gets used a lot to make toxic beings stay toxic makes demonic beings stay demonic or it tries to shift righteous people to these demonic methods so let me cut that off my fault let me put that on silent so with that going on that mean you have to look at that as a costume you know like superheroes put on costumes or you know you got these agents who who disguise themselves to blend in to fit in so they can you know infiltrate different organizations and and, and groups you know to cause division and chaos so if you got a bunch of people beings who are finally connecting with their higher self in this 5d spiritual realm you're gonna have opposing ops who are trying to put on cloaks and in, in, in different wardrobes to try to fit in with this crowd so that way they're not left behind or standing out like a sore thumb if everybody's getting spiritually connected or, or moving in a righteous path or vibrating towards the highest frequency, then a lot of beings is going to show because their frequency isn't. So I just speak for me. I don't like speaking on other people, but for me and my life experiences, if my frequency is up here and I'm pushing towards my highest frequency, which is even higher, and your frequency is here and you're only pushing to your highest frequency, which is here, it's gonna show, it's gonna show, but because the way the matrix is set up, it want these beings right here because they may have a little finances to feel like they're up here with these beings when they're not even in comparison spiritually in the 5D realm with this other being. It gets pretty frustrating sometimes like maneuvering out in the matrix and then, you know, you, you running into people, meeting people, who claiming that they are aware of, you know, everything, but really they only have like 1% of the information, like a very small percent. It's like, oh, okay, I know the government is bad. They're doing this. I'm awake. I'm awoke. No. Oh, crystals are healing. I'm awake. I'm awoke. That is not how this shit works. If you watch any movies, it's plenty of people with magic wands. But only the magician can use it. Only the person who has access to that frequency can use that wand. Not anybody can just pick up this wand and use it. If you ever watch those old cartoons or movies where they have the Excalibur stuck into a rock and they have all kind of different beings coming up trying to pull it out. Big strong ones, small ones, all ones, dark ones, light ones, white ones. I don't give a damn which one it is. But only the one who was moving righteously and, and operating with the creator actually had the inner strength to be able to pull it out with ease. So when I see a female talking about she woke, she still got fucking fake eyelashes on. You know what I'm saying? You still like dressing to accommodate the matrix and your ego. 
You still putting up back shots, ass shots. You still doing all that weird shit. I know that you're not spiritually connected. You could say you're having fun, but it's a war going on. So if it's a war going on, it's, it's beings out here fighting. Why the fuck would you be out there twerking in the middle of a battlefield? I be so mind blown by this shit sometimes. That's even, you can go over to the guys. I see these dumbass motherfuckers still talking about their shoes and their jewelry. And half of the jewelry don't even be real, but the shoes, it's like, if the Matrix ended right now, you got on a thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollar pair of Yeezys, Versace's, Harachis, I don't give a fuck what they are. The Matrix ends. What the fuck are you gonna do with those shoes now? Besides walking them or running them like every other pair of shoes. It's a lot of things that you can do and see to distinguish people who are actually vibrating or working towards that frequency. I'm not going to say I'm working to that frequency or say I'm trying to be the best basketball player, but I only practice never. <laughs> can't say I want to be the best football player and I only practice never you know I just saw a couple football games I saw they wore their jerseys I like this player I saw the way he wore his arm being on his arm I saw the way this one wore his gloves some closed them off some kept them open for style you gotta actually put the work in yourself you have to put the work in yourself so if you're trying to move towards your highest frequency and you saying you learning all this information, but you still looking like a bot, nobody's gonna take you serious. At least not the real beings. You can trick some robots. But ain't no real beings gonna take you serious. That's just simple. That's just the process. So for me, it, I know I take my life serious, I take myself serious, I take other people I care about, I take their life serious. So, I'm not going to move around as if my life is a joke, as if their life is a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a war going on. And it's entities out here warring with you every single day. Every single day. So you have to know who's wearing a cloak, who's got a disguise on, who got the mask on, who's like trying to snake their way into your garden. What I did learn about snakes though, we do have some good reptilian snakes. They're like gardening snakes, you know what I'm saying? Gardening snakes is, they're protecting your house, your force field from other snakes. All snakes don't go into the same category as far as how they maneuver on the inside. Yes, they all look alike on the outside and they all have certain instincts. But you got other garden snakes and other snakes that's gonna protect your house before your own people is gonna protect your shit. So you have to really do the work. You have to really do the work and really put in the time and energy because there's a lot of weird shit going on out here. And they always say start with yourself. It, it start with yourself. We say start with yourself because you will never be able to make a change the way you would like to see it happen by jumping up to like the president office or some weird shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to start it within yourself. You start making changes within yourself. Within yourself. And as you start aligning your chakras and opening all your chakras and, and accessing your abilities, if you have them, then you're going to use your throat chakra and the rest of your chakras to put this information out there and to start assisting and helping other beings so they can ascend and start moving up towards their frequency. That's the process. That's the process. So we have to start distinguishing who these other entities are pretending to be you if you are chosen then you're gonna have a lot of pressure on you you're gonna have a lot of pressure on you and your trials and obstacles are gonna be a lot more difficult than your peers 
So the same way it seemed like somebody can get something easy with the blink of an eye, well, you're gonna have to blink all your eyes, snap all your fingers, click all your toes and heels together, you know, use all your fucking bells and whistles to access that kind of shit just because of the system that's in charge down here. But the thing is, is yours is gonna last longer, it's gonna have more durability, it's gonna be more realistic, it's gonna feel more vibrant. But I just wanted to drop that up there for y'all today, you know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely make sure y'all check, y'all tap in. I got Nefaso up here, the Obsidian Pyrite. The hoodie on I got for the day is Foreign Empire Music. Y'all tapping with old skills, you know what I'm saying? I always got everything down below. Y'all just make sure y'all stay in tune, man. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. I'm always going to be up here dropping this content, you know what I'm saying? Peace to the kings and queens.